to another video. You probably have seen uh, just a few snippets. I've uh, dropped uh, Liam off to school and uh, just popped in the shop just to top up on a few things uh, we were missing. And I decided to start vlogging today despite still being uh, quite congested and not feeling 100%, but I finally feel better. Uh, basically all of us got sick um, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't published a vlog on Sunday. Uh, so I thought I'm going to start vlogging today, maybe today and tomorrow. Um, I don't have much on, but I may actually do something I wanted to do last week, tomorrow. Just me and Nessa pop into a couple of shops nearby, maybe look in H&M what they have, maybe try on a couple of things, uh, depending on how it goes and how she is. Um, we are still coughing, she's still coughing, but obviously she's going to uh, stay warm in the buggy. Um, I feel better and I'm literally going to probably go just for a quick hour or so. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, basically, yeah, Liam keeps bringing all these um, germs from school and she caught it. And I'm not, I, I don't have that experience because obviously when he was born, um, you know, he wasn't exposed um, to that as much. Uh, but now because he's at school and it's has been honestly non-stop since I gave birth and even like in the autumn like before that so but now like last three months have been yeah have been tough when it comes to like viruses uh, and obviously she caught it and she is going to be two months only this weekend so it was quite terrifying to hear her coughing she's still coughing but I can see and hear that it's um you know she's already releasing stuff uh, so hopefully we're on the good way uh, i'm trying to breastfeed a lot that's pretty much all i can do and today i have got a zoom with trini london uh, trini is actually launching in skincare you probably know her she really really exploded after uh, well obviously she was famous before but she exploded as a social media and an influencer with her trips to zara and doing basically these try-ons and showing you know what's in what's new and uh, she launched um, her own line of makeup. Um, I've shown it in the past in the vlogs. They're, they're actually quite clever, basically. They stack at the top, so it's really great for traveling. Uh, you can choose your colors, so it's very clever. And she has launched skincare. So the delivery with the skincare came yesterday. I haven't had a chance to open it, so before uh, basically the Zoom, we can open it together. Um, I'm quite prepared obviously to do it with Nessa. I, I will just sit down if I need to breastfeed I'll breastfeed <laughs> obviously I can turn off the camera so they don't need to see me breastfeeding but even if they did it doesn't really matter and uh, I need to take Liam after school to dentist so I'm basically trying to reserve my energy because I'm still recovering after c-section and I can tell you it's probably gonna take a while like in my mind I you know at this point uh, I'm actually seeing a doctor for the six-week check checkups on Friday, I thought I'm basically going to start a workout. I'm nowhere near uh, starting workout. I mean, sometimes when I, for example, do cleaning in, um, at home, when I am doing a bit of filming, and then I go just to walk to pick Liam up at school, I definitely feel it. And then for the rest of the day, I just do basically the necessities around kids, you know, to give them bath and cook, and the rest just try to relax on the sofa. Uh, if if the kids let me, which which is quite rare, but anyway, yeah. So basically, um, I guess we all heal differently. Maybe it is partially that I haven't been healing that fast because I have had cold since. So when you're coughing, obviously it's a lot of pressure on the scar. And at the start, it was honestly, it was hell. It was so painful. I've tried not to cough so much, but it was a really really bad cough, and I couldn't really take anything apart from homeopathics that actually started to work quite well so thank god for that and um and then obviously i i feel like i've been doing always very quickly a lot of things so when some of the girls again we are very different when one of my friends christina that was here when she saw me she wouldn't let me even like bend for anything to pick up i've been doing that pretty much since two weeks you know, bending and emptying and loading dishwasher, although she says I shouldn't have been doing it at least for six weeks. But then some girls were saying, you know, I've done this, this, this. So we're all different. Maybe I'm not healing that well because I've been doing a lot. Who knows? But yeah, I'm basically not ready to do workouts. Um, I'll give it maybe until the end of this month and I'll see how I feel and maybe start with like 10 minutes 
specifically for after C-section workouts and try to build it up again depending how I feel but I'll have a, a chat to, about that with the doctor so yeah I'm going to show you uh, what's in the training box I'm going to bring it down here I've just cleaned kitchen making myself a cup of tea I'm drinking a lot of like fennel tea which should help baby with like gas and stuff and obviously it's really good for cleansing um, and I am on day three of trying to be better with food and trying to basically eat a lot of protein, less carbs. I don't know how I'm going to get on because my dad and my sister are coming also for the weekend but I'm trying to be, yeah, I'm very proud of myself that I kind of, kind of break through and I finally started and basically done so far two full days of predominantly just protein. I'm not being overly strict um, but yeah, I haven't had basically any bread or any side uh, for the last two days. And I know for some people it's nothing, but because I'm breastfeeding, you know, the cravings are already crazy. So I find it much more difficult to to get over that. But anyway, I've been rambling now for six minutes. It's just to give you a bit of update. If you guys are new around here, I'm Eva. I live in London. I am, I've been blogging for many, many years. I'm also a contributing editor to Harper's Bazaar. And I would love if you hit the subscribe button and join me on this YouTube channel. <laughs> right, so it came in this lovely box. There's been embargo until 8 of February, but that's passed, so I can easily talk about it, especially by the time I publish this vlog. And I must say the case is actually really lovely. Um, so this would be really good for keeping skincare, probably more makeup for me. So I might actually move... I'm using currently LMS for kind of my major makeup I'm using daily. Can maybe move into this one. That looks really good. Okay, and it says it's chapter one cleansers. So I assume. Oh wow, yeah, this is really cool. So that's like a pop socket for your phone. That's super easy. A little pop grip. And and I guess these are the cleansers. So we've got AHA, PHA gel cleanser, enzyme bound cleanser, as a muslin cloth, and we have got refills. Okay, so it's probably going to be um, the sustainable way of packaging that you can actually refill these. And let me open what they actually look like so you can get idea. I will try to link Trini's stuff uh, below in the description box. Oh, that's lovely. Nice bright color, right up her street because she is, she can be a very colorful lady. And yeah, these look brilliant. So I'm excited to join for the Zoom at 10.30. Now I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea, fennel tea. And I need Nessa soon to wake up, I need to breastfeed. So I'm catching up on some YouTube while trying to hold Nessa and made myself a cup of afternoon tea. I, well, sorry, coffee. Maybe I'm too tired, I don't even know if it's coffee or tea. And I'm gonna enjoy this before I pick Liam up. Okay, so this coat is sold out online, but I think it's a beautiful trench with amazing cufflinks. I may try it on, it's only 40 pounds. Um, so if it's not available, I'll just leave the code for uh, for the trench. Okay, here it is, like that. So I'll definitely try this one on. I'm just like, you know, what size? Maybe like medium. Okay, these cardigans are really nice. They've got a lot of colors. I like this cream one. Okay, this is really nice for nice casual looks as well. What size is this small? Um, could look really nice oversized so maybe rather medium rather than the small one again let me have a look oh actually maybe I prefer the small one this is such a nice color nice crop this would look really nice with like leather I think I'll try it on just to bring a bit of the trend uh, which is colors into this haul I'll try on, I'll get medium, let's have a look. Okay, you may remember I have this one uh, and it's amazing and it was sold out um, last year. So I will link this one as well if it's available online because they're amazing. My one is slightly different shape but everything else is the same. And I 
sorry for this one. I actually linked this one on my stories. I will try and on because I think they are so pretty. This one looks actually really good as well for like more casual looks or with leather trousers. So I may try one of these. I will try on and maybe link both of them. Okay, and look at this Bo Bottega inspired belt. It's so good. I may try this one on as well. Okay, this I have to link. Um, this sort of finish is now so hype. Like, um, um, so many brands are doing it uh, on their caps, so including obviously Celine. And this is a men's one, but I will try it on. Actually, whilst I'm here and I have a decent light, <laughs> better than at home, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. So, just <laughs> my favorite Spanx leggings. These boots are current Milan, they're available now, they're like croc on platform, so comfortable. A uh, launer bag, this coat from Silk Maison, just a simple black top. This is Misoma, and these are the chubby hoops from Misoma as well. Um, yeah, I love this coat, I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, look at the sleeve detail as well, it's brilliant. Guys, I'm obsessed with this coat, it's so pretty, the color is amazing, it's so chic. I mean, even with this look, it's just beautiful. The cuffs are really great, they're really making the coat. Oh, and it's just 40 pounds. I think I will have to get this one for sure. God, I love it so much. So I will link this anyway in case it comes back in store, but it's really beautiful. I'm okay. This is really beautiful, but not for me now until I lose weight after the baby. Like, I love it, but because obviously belly is my biggest issue. The color is much nicer also in real life, but I will still link it because the color is honestly beautiful. I don't know if it's just these lights in the changing room or if it was the same one I showed you before, but yeah, really nice, really nice shape. Okay, this is also really pretty, really cool, and I could match with Liam and his um, his little white jacket, but I still, like, if I was to pick one, I would go for the trench. Um, yeah, this is so pretty, love the lining, very cool jacket. I think I picked medium, um, no, I've picked small actually, so it's quite oversized as you can see. But this is so beautiful, love the colours, and I've got that onion bing um, cap, um, which is exactly the same shade of kind of light khaki so that would be a nice match really nice as well so i've tried this on i forgot to film it actually on my camera so i may just include the footage i have on my phone um it's actually a nice cardigan i'm probably not gonna get it um probably for the same reasons as the green uh the green jumper but it's really lovely and they've got other colors as well so i'll link this one as well so really good value it feels really nice on the skin it's not itchy at all so really good buy as well Okay, this I love. Uh, it looks actually really cool, much more expensive than it is. I think it's like $17.99. Um, I think it will look really, really good with the trench as well, like very cool. I may actually take a picture just for thumbnail wearing it. I would probably go for larger size. I'll probably not get it just because when I see the bottom of my body now, just, yeah. Just, yeah, I'm not there yet when it comes to, um, yeah, the, the body like before, so that kind of puts me off a little bit buying certain things if they're not flattering. Yeah, as I thought these two look good together. Maybe this is like how I saw it, maybe even photographed this um, jumper on the website. Yeah, but I love these two together. I still not want to get it. Maybe, yeah, I'll think about it. Yeah, I'm first vegan eating high protein, so let's see how that goes. Okay, this men's one is so pretty. I really like it. Uh, I'm just obsessed with now this like cho chocolate uh, um, shade. Like Adanola has got really nice um, baseball cap that's actually sold out, and it's got basically just the A um, made of this like teddy fabric, which is really nice. So I'm gonna link this one as well because it's really pretty, really easy kind of for cool looks, school runs, lounging around at home, whatever. Okay, and trying again the trench coat with this one because I just want to make sure if I buy it, you know, it goes with a lot of things, but I think it's beautiful trench, honestly. So, yeah, I'll definitely get it, and for that money, also, it's brilliant. Such a good look. And that's it, guys. I think Nessa has been a dream, still sleeping. So I'm gonna head to Starbucks and then maybe look around more shops or just head home, to be honest, so I can start on editing this. 
and get on with the day, maybe even have a nap. And I also got a text message that I have a, a delivery coming in and DHL, so I would like to be home for that so they don't have to leave me with the neighbors or reschedule, whatever. I think I'm gonna get one of these because these are so handy and all of my old ones just broke. This is a lovely neutral shade. So that's been a successful trip to H&M and I'm gonna pop into TK Maxx because I forgot I ran out of coffee syrups and I keep buying this small one in a local shop which is delicious but uh, in terms of the size I just ran out. I, I'm back on coffee and uh, so I was really off coffee during pregnancy and I'm back, I love the taste again. So I'm drinking quite a lot of coffee, a lot of decaf as well. So I'm gonna go and pick up a syrup as well. Okay, so the selection is always insane. Let me have a look. I usually like like caramel and these ones are often zero calories. So I'll just take this one and maybe I will try something else. Uh, cookie dough, what else do I like? The Irish coffee sounds exciting, but I'm worried I may go off that. <laughs> Look who's up, perfect timing. She let me to try everything on, and now she's ready to eat. I have actually decided to walk home. I'm gonna cut through the park, just because it's quite mild and yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. I can't wait for like much nicer weather, but even this is lovely. It's not raining, it's not awfully cold, and that I feel better. You're probably thinking I am very congested. I still am, but I finally feel so much better and I couldn't wait. I honestly really wanted to go, I think last Friday it was, uh, just to go my grand shops, basically what I did today, and just have a quick coffee, take Nessa whilst Liam is at school. Um, but yeah, we go, we go very poorly, so I'm glad I finally feel better and also my sister and my dad are coming for the weekend, so I'm glad we feel better because uh, I want to bring my sister Eva for dinner uh, like, and my dad is going to stay with the kids so we can dress up at least a little bit. Let's see how I feel. I always say I'm going to dress up and then I'm so lazy and I just go, you know, something quite nice but not over the top. Let's see how she's gonna feel as well about dressing up. I'm sure she can pick a lot of things from my wardrobe. So anyway, I'm gonna have a nice walk home. I finished my coffee. Again, just such a treat. Just such a treat to get out. Um, I'm just not used to it. Like with the horsey section that you kind of homebound a lot. And then obviously Liam was poorly. So yeah, the light is terrible. Uh, and sadly, I don't have the fancy camera with the smoothing <laughs> filter for the skin so yeah, the reality this is you see what you see that's what you get all right so i thought i'm just going to quickly show you maybe one or two ways how I'm planning to wear this, but honestly, I think it goes with anything. But I love these kind of sporty casual looks. I do apologize for the drilling. Neighbors are probably building something. Um, but yeah, this is just with Acne Studio Scarf. This bag is Polen. And, and the boots are Nicolas Kirkwood. And I'm wearing the Onion Bing hat. I don't really have time, or I don't want to just change, so I'm still wearing the leggings and the top. Uh, but just show you kind of the... Um, accessories how you can change this uh, one thing I haven't tried in the shop is to tie it uh, so let me actually show you what it looks like on when you uh, use the belt at the back but I just love yeah it's it's got like a bit of vintage vibe so I'm very very happy with the purchase okay so this is when you tie it I prefer to actually tie it like this rather than use a buckle just with my Chanel bag and these beautiful croc boots I think these are still available in black and brown so I will link these as well uh, and I can hear Nessa's waking up but she has been absolute dream so I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog but yeah I'm so glad we finally got out and done uh, just a little bit of just yeah walk in the park and coffee and everything. So guys, thank you so much for watching, for joining me on this haul uh, slash vlog video. As I said, everything is going to be linked down below. I would love if you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you soon in the next vlog. Bye! -bye. <laughs>